Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top six running shoes from 2021. And the only criteria a shoe has to have to make it on this list was that it had to be released sometime this year. And this list isn't in any particular order except for my final shoe. That shoe is gonna be my favorite shoe from 2021. So make sure you stick around to the end to find out what shoe that is. All right, so let's get started with shoe number one, which was a no brainer for me. That's the Nike Vaporfly Next% Percent 2. In my opinion, and many other people's opinions, uh, the best racing shoe out there. This shoe at most races just dominates the front of the field. You usually just see a sea of Nikes, um, some people in Alpha Flies, lots of people in Vapor Flies, and Vapor Fly Next% Percent is my choice of shoe for race day. Unbelievably lightweight, uh, still enough cushion to get you through a full marathon, and very snappy and responsive. And this shoe was a no brainer to have on this list. All right, shoe number two is the On Running Cloud Flow version three. Now the first two versions of the shoe I absolutely loved um, and they've improved each time they've came out with a new one. And this shoe is just a great all around daily trainer. You can use this shoe for short easy runs, uh, long runs, intervals. It kind of has a wide range of uses. The only negative I'll say about the shoe is that if you do go off pavement, you'll get rocks stuck in the bottom in the cloud pods. But if you've ran in an on running shoe before, you'll know that's just something you have to deal with if you're in one of the road shoes. But yeah, overall a really well-rounded daily trainer. Third on my list, I'm actually going to be including two shoes, the Asics Metaspeed Sky and the Asics Metaspeed Edge. Now these shoes look very similar. The biggest difference coming in the heel to toe drop and the stack, stack height of both shoes. And in my opinion, the Edge and the Sky are Nike's closest rivals when it comes to a race day shoe. I think these shoes can hold their own up against the Vaporfly and the Alpha Fly. For myself, I prefer the Metaspeed Edge and one thing to keep in mind is that both of these ASIC shoes fit very, very short. And unfortunately, the pair of Metaspeed edges that I picked up were way too short to consider using on race day. But if I had got the appropriate sizing, I probably would have used the Metaspeed edge in my last half marathon. And I think uh, half marathon and under, that shoe, the edge, is really going to compete with the Nike Vaporfly. So a couple of really nice race day options from ASICs. Fourth on my list is another ASICs, and I'm going to go with the ASICs Noosa Tri 13. So first of all, obviously a sweet colorway, but uh, that doesn't matter when it comes to this list. Uh, this shoe is just an awesome all-around daily trainer, just like the Cloud Flow. Has a bit of a rocker motion to it and a nice toe spring. Cushioning on the shoe is really nice. Uh, it's not too firm. It's definitely not too soft. It's kind of right in the middle. Um, and I will take the shoe out for short, easy runs. And I've definitely done some nice longer runs in this as well as a couple of intervals. And actually, I think in my review of this shoe, I said if I were to pick one shoe that wasn't carbon plated to take on race day, uh, it could very well be this shoe, the Asics Noosa Tri 13. So falls into the same good all around daily trainer category like the Cloud Flow, but unlike that shoe, you're not gonna get rocks stuck in the bottom. Fifth on my list is the one and only trail shoe I've included, and that's the On Running Cloud Ultra. And I gotta say for a trail shoe, I love this one. It's probably my all time favorite trail shoe. I'm certainly not a trail runner, but I do dabble in the trails maybe about once every couple of weeks. And I like almost everything about this shoe. The outsole specifically, it's not super aggressive. The lugs are pretty tiny. So it makes for a really nice door to trail shoe. And a lot of the trail running that I do, there's a lot of pavement mixed in, which makes this a perfect option for the type of trail running that I do. And I would actually argue that this shoe on road, being a trail shoe even, still feels better than a lot of just road shoes out there. So if you're like me and a lot of the trail running you do has a bit of pavement mixed in, uh, definitely check out the Cloud Ultra. And this being an on running shoe, they've done away with the open cloud pods, so you won't get any rocks stuck in the bottom, which is kind of what you would expect in a trail shoe. All right, and last up on my list is gonna be my shoe of the year, and that is the Nike Invincible. And just to describe to you how much I like this shoe, um, because I reviewed so many shoes throughout the year, Typically, I'll retire or donate to a thrift store. My shoes, once they hit kind of that 250 to 300 kilometer mark, so usually a lot of my shoes, when I retire them, they still have lots of life left. 
Um, but with the Nike Invincible, uh, so far I think I have just under 700 kilometers on these shoes. And I'll probably keep running in the shoe until 900K or even 1,000. And this is easily my all-time favorite shoe when it comes to easy recovery runs, long runs, long easy runs. Uh, just this huge slab of Zumex midsole makes my legs feel fresh. Because there isn't a carbon plate in the shoe, it, it can feel a little bit wobbly, especially when you're just walking around. But because the base is so wide, I think it feels just fine when you get when you start running. Uh, that kind of wobbly feeling does go away. But yeah, I can't say enough good things about this shoe when it comes to easy running. This is hands down my sh choice of shoe. The fit is really nice. Everything is just plush soft. The only negative I'll say about this shoe is that the laces are very, very short. Um, but it's something that I've been dealing with for a long time, so I just forget about it in this shoe now. Personally, it's not a shoe that I'll do efforts in, but uh, anything easy running, I could choose a shoe every single time if I didn't have so many other shoes that I have to review. And those are personally my top six running shoes of 2021. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite shoe of the past year has been. And I gotta say, I'm super excited to review all the new shoes that are coming out in the new year. I'm not sure what Nike has in store for us, but I'm excited to test out some Pumas. I know they're making big moves in the running world. I'm sure ASICs will come out with some new and exciting things. And I know On Running has quite a few new models coming out that I'll be excited to share with you once I get my hands on them. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.